Hello people, my name is Mubashi Taki from LMScrafter.com and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can add a page transition and a page preloader in Elementor 3.6. So this is a really new update within the Elementor and uh, this is one of my client websites and she told me that uh, this site is a little bit slow so instead of going for optimization so she told me that add something that actually make a user feel that something is happening on the page while they're waiting for it to load so uh, so I'm going to add a page transition and I'm going to show you that how many things you can actually add a page, page transition and in the preloader so let's go to the global settings in the Elementor go to site settings Inside the site settings, go to the uh, page transition tab, and in the page transition, you can actually select the background and uh, the color that is uh, going to actually, uh, you know, appear when he, when his transition is loading. For example, if I choose this color, okay, and here we go, and I, I actually add a fade in. So this is load. This is this will be loading fade in, and fade down yes and then the fade right fade left so this is the um, entering page uh, animation and that is the exiting page animation for example if the page if you are going to another page from the current page then this this thing has happened so this is a fade out this is fade in so I think uh, that is a really good option but most people will go for this uh, page preloader I think so so because this is the thing that I'm going to uh, use for my client as well so uh, in the page loader uh, preloader section you can actually add up uh, add up animations the icon and the image as well so in the animation tab you can actually choose the uh, circle so let me add a little bit of background so yeah you see this is the page animation that is actually loading uh, you can actually increase the size of it and uh, this one dash the bouncing dot. So this is really famous. That actually you see, you have seen on some of the themes, uh, pre-built theme. This they comes with this pre-loader and this pulsing dot, <clears throat> and the pulse, and the overlap, and uh, spinner. So these are the uh, page animations that we have at the moment. So now go for the icon thing. So you can actually go and change the icon and the good thing is that you can actually add an animation to icon as well. For example, this this is this is icon that is uh, loading already preload icon. So if I say spinning, so it spins like animation. So the bounce and the flash and the pulse. So we can actually go and actually choose any of these uh, icon, for example, this one. Let's say spin it. This is spin like this and pulse and uh, shake and um, let's go to this uh, image section so this this is the one that I'm going to use for my client so I'm going to change the background to something a little bit dark a little bit gray or white so yes this one um not pure white this one a little bit okay now go to this image section I'm going to choose and upload a logo for my client go to desktop and this one and uh, here we go we can actually add an animation to that one instead of spinning pulsing and I will use this one the pulse one okay and make the size uh, uh, a little bit little bit bigger so the image should be nice so this this is the one that I'm going to use for my client and uh, and in a, in a different color so uh, this is how you can actually add a preload uh, preloader and to the website and you can add animations you can add image and you can also add an icon as well so thank you so much